Google offers productivity, collaborations, and communications tools for personal and for business use, from free to pay apps for a small and large business as well. My name is Carlos, and in this video, I will explain the main differences between Google Workspace and Google Free Apps, which basically can be used or accessed with your free Gmail account. Google Workspace is Google's set of tools for businesses that you can purchase on the different plans. On the other hand, you can access the free version of Google Apps with your free Gmail account. So what is the difference? If you want to access and make use of Google Apps, you need to click on the upper right corner where you find the nine little dots within your Google account. When accessing both type of account, you will be able to access pretty much the same apps, regardless of the type of Google accounts you have, or at least they will look very similar. So let's talk about their differences. First, with Google Workspace, you can configure your email accounts with your domain name. By the way, if you are interested in learning how to configure Google Workspace with your domain name, you can watch this video here. I will also leave a link in the description. So with Google Workspace, my email account may look something like this. Carlos at askitb.xyz, which is my domain name in this example. Instead of carlos at gmail.com. I am convinced that any business should have their email accounts with their own domain name. Businesses should avoid using free email accounts like Gmail, Hotmail, or Yahoo. This should be also the case if you are trying to develop your personal brand. Having your email account with your domain name helps you generate trust. A second difference relates to the storage space. Depending on the Google Workspace plan, you will have 30 gigabytes per user with the business starter, two terabytes per user with the business standard, and five terabytes per user with the business plus. On the other hand, with Gmails, users get 15 gigabytes of storage for emails and files as well. Another important difference relates to the resource ownership. With Google Workspace, resources are owned by the company or the business, and the business has control over all the accounts. Gmail resources are owned by individuals, and the company has no control over the accounts. When looking at the apps, and if you are the administrator of Google Workspace, you will find this icon, which will give you access to the Google Admin Panel. It is where you can manage all your users' accounts within your organization. You can create and delete users, reset passwords. You can manage access to the different apps or services within Google Workspace. It can be done by groups or by organization units. You, as the admin or administrator of Google Workspace, can control and restrict access to the account from any device. You can sign out on a specific device, for example. You can also manage the security features. For example, you can force the use of two-step verification for all users. You can also establish password policies. With Google Workspace, you can create groups. Groups are a very important part of Google Workspace. They can make teamwork easier and more efficient. Users can easily schedule activity based on groups. Team members can share calendars and other team members can check availability to set meetings. The administrator can manage the access to specific apps or services based on groups. Another difference relates to the way how users can share files and documents. Google Workspace allow users to have more control over the share of files. Google Workspace allows you to manage different domain names within your organization. You can use additional domain names as aliases or you can create email accounts or the different domain names. When talking about the specific tools, like for example, Google Meet, with Google Workspace, you can have video conferences with 
100 or more participants up to 24 hours length. Gmail allows you to use Google Meet as well and have a video conference with multiple participants for a maximum of one hour. Meeting recording is only allowed in Google Workspace if you have business standard licenses. You can also learn more about Google Meet watching this video here. I will leave a link in the description as well. Here are some of the most popular tools that you can find with the Google Workspace and the free Google account. You can access with both accounts Google Drive. As we mentioned before, the main difference relates to the available storage space. Productivity tools are also available in both type of accounts. You can access Docs, Sheets, Slides and Forms. Of course, with both accounts you have email service. The main difference is the use of your domain name with Google Workspace. You also have access to calendars and contacts, which basically are pretty much the same with both type of accounts. As we have seen here, the main differences between Google Workspace and Google Free Apps are important if you are a business. For most individuals, the free apps will work very well. Of course, there are cases where individuals will rather go with Google Workspace. That could be the case if you are building a personal brand or if you require to store a large amount of files in the cloud. With this, we reach the end of our video today. I hope this video has given you a better understanding of the two types of services that Google provides. If you find this video useful, I invite you to give us a thumbs up. If you think it can be useful to someone else, please feel free to share it with your friends and family. Remember, that if you want to watch more videos like this one, or if you want to find this one easily in the future, please hit the subscribe button, which by the way, it helped me to continue creating videos like this one. Thank you and I hope to see you next time.